Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. I am so grateful that you guys are listening to me and watching my videos and commenting. I really, really appreciate all the support and I hope that you guys are finding it useful. And if you guys again have any video suggestions for the future, let me know and I will put it on my list, which is about 300 things long. So if I haven't gotten into your thing yet, just let me know again and I will put it on the top of the list, okay? Um, speaking of lists, one of the things that you guys have been saying to me a lot is like, you know, you are asking for suggestions on how to organize your life better. Now, you guys are already aware of lists as being one of the best ways for an INFJ to organize their life. But a lot of you have been kind of surprised by how many things I put on my list. And one of the things that I, I hate is feeling that I've forgotten something. And as an INFJ, because we have a lot of anxiety and because we're always thinking, you know, of all the different things that we have to do and because we're the jack of all trades so we do a lot of things I spend all of my day making sure that I put everything that I want to do during the day on a list everything that I want to do next week on a list everything that I want to do next year on a list I have a hundred lists for a hundred different things and I know all the different lists that I have so I can always be organizing myself Now you probably think that's insane a little bit but it actually helps me a lot be as free as possible because I'm not always worrying and being anxious about all the different things that I've forgotten, all the different things that I need to do, all the different things that I need to talk to people about. Right? Everything that I think of that I want to do with my day today or tomorrow, I'll put it on a list and it'll be as minor as you know calling my parents in the fact that like you know I should remember to call my parents but I don't. So I'll put it on my list. You know, drinking water. I forget sometimes that I need to drink water or I need to eat food. I forget that I need to have my meals. You know, I forget that I should be hanging out with friends. And so if I notice that I haven't done it for a long time, weirdly enough and oddly enough, I put it on my list. I'm like, okay, I haven't talked to a friend in a long time or haven't gone for dinner with a friend in a long time. Let me put it on my list so I can actually figure it out who I'm going to go with and actually get it done. Because otherwise, I would never get it done. You know, I would always forget about it. It's, if it's not on my list, I'm not going to do it. And so it's like my Bible, right? I put everything on my list and I do it. These videos as well, a lot of times, you know, I will do, I'll batch them. So I'll do a bunch of them at once. So that's probably why you guys see the same outfit over and over again. But once I'm ready to do the videos, once I've actually congealed my ideas and I'm ready to do them, I'll sit down and I'll do like three or four in a row. But it's on my list, and if it's not on my list, I'll forget to do these videos, and then you won't have any videos at 7 a.m. EST, right? So the reason I'm actually mentioning this video is because, or talking about lists, is a lot of times you guys have spoken to me that you're afraid that you're going to become very rigid if you have so many lists. And the fact of the matter is, because of all these lists that we have, I am the most spontaneous and free person on this planet. Now, it's a very contradictory thing to say and ironic, but... It gives me the freedom to be spontaneous. I know all of the different things that I have to do during the day. I know all the different things that I have to do during the week, right? And so I can kind of move things around. And so if someone asks me, you know, let's go out today and let's go walk to a waterfall or do a hike or let's go swimming today or let's go for dinner and, and spend the rest of the night at a party or whatever it might be. If my friends, my extroverted friends message me, my P friends message me and they say, let's do this thing. I can say to myself, okay, let me look at my list, boom, quickly, I'll know exactly what I'm supposed to get done before I meet them, and if I have the time for it, and usually I end up having the time for it because I always schedule too many things in a day, and so I can, I know I can move them around, right? I, I'd rather get a lot of stuff done during the day than too little, right? And I know that I have the flexibility to move some things to the, to the next day. Some things I cannot move. Like, I can't move my work days around, but I can move these videos because I am always usually ahead of schedule, so I know if I don't do them today, I can do them tomorrow, right? And so I have that flexibility, and so I am a very spontaneous person in that regard. So I do want to warn you that a lot of times if you're not making all these lists, if you're not putting all of your stuff on your schedule, that's when we become really rigid because we think to ourselves, no, I can't go anywhere because I have to get my work done. I don't know what it is. But I have to get stuff done and I, I don't want to forget it, so I'm going to stay at home and I'm just going to work on stuff that I don't even know what I'm working on, right? And I used to be like that in the in the past. When I was a teenager in my 20s, I was, I was afraid of doing lists because I was afraid I'd become too rigid. But then I was always afraid that I was missing out on things. I was always, I always had FOMO. And so it was kind of scary because I'd, I'd start throwing tantrums if, I, if anything or anyone told me that they, they, I had to do something for them. 
my parents would be like, you know, could you go pick up someone up, my sister, or could you go do this for us? And I'd, I'd literally go into like palpitation. My heart would start beating really fast. I get afraid because I think to myself, do I have the time for this? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I know that I have things to do, and then I don't have time to do this. And I start crying and all that. It was such a disaster. I was major. I was a major mess. And so now, if my parents tell me, you know, I need you to do something for me, I'm like, yeah, for sure. I have the time for it or if anyone else says anything to me I know I have the time for it because I know my schedule looks like really 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 well and a lot of times in the middle of the night you guys know we have insomnia we'll wake up in the middle of the night with something some humongous idea in our head I'll always wake up in the middle of the night with uh, with ideas from my from my novels from my science fiction novels that I write so I'll wake up and I'll think oh my god this is a brilliant idea I need to write it down right away and so I always, always, always have a notepad and um, a pen right next to my bed all the time. And I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll write down something quickly, and then I'll fall back asleep. Otherwise, I'm going to stay up for hours on end thinking about that idea. I'm thinking, oh, I should just really write it down, otherwise I'm going to forget it. I don't want to forget it. And I spend hours just thinking about that, right? So get up, put the idea on paper, and then fall asleep again. Same thing with any idea that comes up to you, and you don't know exactly what you're going to do with it. A lot of times we're sitting around like, oh my god, I just had a brilliant idea. I don't know what, how it's going to come up or how it's going to be used, but it's brilliant. I want to put it down somewhere. I have a long list of like things that I always put down where these ideas might not be used right now. I mean, they might never be used, but I don't want to lose them. You know, I don't want to lose them into the ether. I don't want to forget about them. So I have a list for that. It's just like a notepad and I put all this stuff down and sometimes I never even look at it but once I write it down I have this feeling this kind of solitude this not solitude but like the solace in my and peace in my heart that I don't have to worry about it anymore I put it on paper I'm gonna take care of it once it's time for it right so these are a few ways that I think that you guys can organize your life a little bit better and feel a little bit better feel less anxiety because I know as an INFJ, if we feel less anxiety, if we're a little bit more balanced in that regard, we're able to do more with our time. Otherwise, we spend a lot of time in anxiety and not being productive. And there's a reason we're put on this planet, so we need to do our work. And if we're not doing our work, then it's a complete waste. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.